to show you very quickly one of my little doggies. This is Lexi. She's a red teacup poodle. Hey Lexi. <laughs> Hopefully you can see her little face. Move her forward a touch. Now, just roll over for a minute, baby. Oh, I know. Look at this big belly. Look at that tummy. She's six weeks pregnant. Love a tummy rub, don't you, Lexi? Hey. So three weeks left to go and she's got three babies in there, haven't ya? Took her for an ultrasound last week and uh, yeah, so going to be expecting puppies soon, aren't we? You know, high five me? She says, no, you've got a glove on. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oops, up we go. You can come back on your bed down here. Oh, Big fatty little girl at the moment. Right, let's get back to pouring. Now I'm going to go again with this little coaster. Uh, not a coaster, it's a placemat. So if you saw my previous one, I did the gold with the plummy, purpley sorts of tones. This one's going to be blue. So I've got silver, a dark blue, a black and a mid blue. They're all quite dark colours because the silver is going to act as a white and hopefully lighten things up a little bit. So 70% glue, 30% water is my pouring medium. Uh, this blue I have done, um, where did I write? I'll tell you what I wrote, wrote down. 30 grams of pouring medium to 25 grams of paint. The black I did 20 grams of pouring medium to 10 grams of paint. The navy I did 30 to 20 and this one I did one to one. So I've got 40 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of paint. These, the gold was much, much thinner than the silver. The gold, if you remember, I had to do two to one. This one's just one to one, so hopefully it'll be all right. Treadmill silicone for oil, uh, for cells. <laughs> two drops in that blue, two drops in that blue, and three, one, two, three, in the silver, because we've got a lot more of it. Give it a good stir. So I'm going to do a dirty pour again, where I pour the paints in from up high, instead of layering them. I've done a lot of layering, so let's just do some, some dirty pours for this range. So I'm going to do maybe six coasters. Actually, I'm going to do eight because I've got my dining room table seats eight. So I'll do eight. Okay, so I'm going to start with some silver. Let's pour half of it in the bottom. And then I'm going to pour my navy in from up high. Give it a good swirl so that it combines and then my black and then my blue from up high again look at those bubbles go away bubbles and then the silver again from up high and I won't use it all I won't scrape it all out because it was a little bit more paint than I need. Needed about 200 grams of mixed paint. I think I've got about 220. Some, well, I've kind of needed somewhere between 180 and 200 and making up such little amounts. It's just difficult. So I have got the mid blue, uh, no, that's my deep space. That's the navy. And then I've got black. We have metallic silver. And then this blue is uh, cool blue and a little bit of cobalt just to lighten it up a little bit. And as I said, hopefully the silver will act like a white and really lighten things up a little bit. I do want this whole range of placemats to be quite sort of regal, dark, um, and then hopefully that way the metallics will really pop. When they're dry, they'll shine. So it, I don't want it really bright and, and washed out looking. I'd rather it be a little bit more on the darker side. So we'll see. See what happens. Here we go. Right, 
Righto. Whoops, don't run off the edge. There's too much paint on here. Way too much paint. But when you're mixing up, you know, 20 grams of pouring medium to 10 grams of black, you just see such a little amount. I'm used to doing big canvases, that's why. It's almost run off the side already. Now let's torch and don't over torch. I want, um, I don't want too many cells. Oh, I forgot to go and get my bamboo skewer again. I need to go into the kitchen and get a new skewer for popping bubbles. You can see there all those little dots that's the um that's bubbles popping and then when i get a bit closer the cells come up so there's a nice little colony happening here there's a few here uh, there's a few there i need some more through the center so i'll go again not too close just wait see there's some coming up there This is looking better. As you can see, this is a, a scraped little placemat here. I did the blues before and I wasn't getting the rings, the definite rings around my cells. Uh, that, my mix was a little bit too thick. The gold in the global, as I said, I had to do two to one. So two parts pouring medium, sorry, two parts gold to one part pouring medium. And this looked really thick when I did two to one. So then I made it one and a half to one, one and a half paint to one pouring medium. And I poured and my cells just weren't good. It was just too thick. So then that's why I scraped it and I've gone again one to one. So unless you have a few goes at it, you know, and practice, write down what you did so that you can then fix your mistakes your next time round. It's, it's a bit tricky. So that's what I do. I write down what, it, what I... What I did, the amounts of paint I used, so I can then look back on it and say, well, this worked, but this didn't work. I just want some more cells to come up through here. I'm getting a lot of those little dots, um, but that's just the, the air bubbles that have popped. I'm not actually getting cells through there, so I'm gonna have to go again with the torch. A little bit closer this time to encourage the cells to come up. There's a few blue ones coming through here. So I'm just going to take my time. I can already see that I'm liking this half better. So this, where these little stripies are and these cells here that aren't that well shaped, that can go off. Because I've got so much paint on here, on the surface. Alright, so I need a few more cells here and then a few more up here. And then that'll be fine. There are some in here, but they're blue on blue, so they're not really well defined. It's alright, I can tip some of that off. Uh, let's do it. Um, got some nice bits of black through the center there. Got some lovely silver cells popping up. Got some of the lighter blue showing where the mid blue and the silver are mixing. So it's looking really pretty and I definitely don't want to lose those there. So I'm going to tilt off just this very edge first because I really love the rest of that. There's so much on here I want to keep, but I can't. Too much paint. Okay, you can go as well because you're a bit blobby, but the rest of you stay where you are. Okay. Mm, see, I don't know that I'm going to keep these because I want this to go. I'll bring the weight of the paint back a little bit and then I can go that way. Mm, I'm going to have to lose them. If I don't lose them, I can't stretch the middle out. So they're going to, I'm going to have to go. Let's do down here first. 
because I really don't like these bits down here. So they can go first. See how the rest of them are all stretching out, which is what you want. Pop it back and have a look. I'm not in love with these here. They don't have rings around them. So some of that can definitely get tilted off. It's just a shame that I'm going to lose these, but it's worth it to open this area up here. Open it up a little bit. That's enough. Come back. I just had to get rid of some of those those silver ones there that didn't have any rings around them for some reason. Now I'm just taking this area here down towards you so I can open that up a little bit. Stretch those cells out a bit to there because that's really pretty. Now these up here need to be opened up a little bit, so I'm going to go that way. And I think that will be enough. So all my cells are, are really nice, nicely shaped. little blob off down there okay happy with that wipe off the excess I'll wipe it on my fingers on my cloth rather than on the pedal pad that way I can get another pour out of this puppy pedal pad PPP so you can see what I mean about it sort of being a bit on the dark side but I wanted it like that. I wanted it to look kind of regal looking. Now, it doesn't always have to be bright. So that's what I'm aiming for for this whole series is using dark colours with my metallic to try and get the metallic to lighten them up a little bit but still keep that look of royalty and a little bit of plush I guess with the, the dark darker look um, I really want to open these up but I don't want to lose those cells okay I think that will do can't really move any more without losing what I've already got and I think what I've got is really pretty so I'm going to leave it like that what do you think all right let's get these grubby gloves off it's really tricky to get these gloves off because I want to use them again so I'll just wipe my hands with the cloth and then I can just pull the gloves off and then I can reuse them because they've only been used once. There's no point just having a one use only, is there? We try to use them as many times as we can. All right, how's that looking for you guys? So you can see the different shades of blues that the um, silver has given us. I'll take you down for a close-up. Never get a, a really accurate look at the colours from up there. Don't know why. Okay. Look at it from where I was looking at it. So, 
these cells here we've got a lot of the blue on that side and then these ones over to the left they've got the pretty silver rings around them and all those little white dots those are air bubbles that popped so it would be nice if I waited until my bubbles settled and then poured and then I wouldn't have that problem this is really pretty though isn't it Look at that those lovely blues there with the silver rings around them so your mix has to be the right consistency to be able to get those rings a little bit on the thinner side if you're not getting rings if your cells are looking a bit hazy then your mix is too thick oops stand over here get out of that light all right that'll be it for now thanks for watching and I think I will do the nice dark emerald greens next with some gold yeah and then I can do turquoise and copper down the track so uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell that way every time I do a new pour you'll be notified and you can watch and then try it yourself thanks for watching I'll see you for the next one Bye for now.